Welcome back, everyone. We've all had that moment where we let something come out of our mouth before really thinking it through. And then you have to deal with the consequences that followed. We would never want someone to take something that we say the wrong way. So how do we prevent the confusion? And boy, is there confusion. We're diving into that today in Real Talk with Kara Kinnear, our community correspondent, Myra Skye, stuck around. And the founder of Beyond Her, Brandy Harvey is back. Yay. I mean, all of our ladies are beautiful, but this uh, yeah. is... Well, you know, thank you. This is Maria Harper. She's a local designer here. She yeah. is killing it. You're yes. killing it. Thank yeah, you. That yes. is gorgeous. <laughs> I love everything. Yes. I'm like, mm. Okay, let's dive into this, ladies, because I feel like this happens. I'm always saying the wrong thing or, you know, maybe texting the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. But in a recent interview for Bustle, a clinical psychologist, Dr. Joshua Clapo, said that often when something you have said was taken the wrong way, it's worth thinking about the why. So here's some annoying phrases that he says should probably be avoided. Number one, I'm going to be brutally honest. Oh, yeah. If you believe that Ooh. something could be hurtful, it's always appropriate to ask permission because they may not be ready for it. So he says, try rephrasing it in a question, something like, can I be can I be honest with you? Rather than I'm going to be brutally honest. Right. right. Yeah. yeah. I agree. First of all, brutal is always like <laughs> yeah, that. Just right. sounds yeah. like it's about to be a punishment on the other side of yes. that, right? If you right. say I'm going to be brutally honest, it sounds like you're about to say something right. rude, yeah. something very, you know, trite. You yeah. know. So it's like I think that we should be mindful, especially if they are fr they are friends, our loved ones. Yes. Like we want to show that we love them and mm -hmm. care about them. Mm -hmm. So we don't want to come out the gate and say hurtful things because now that's just a setup for disaster, right? You yeah, know, well, for the also, communication. Like, know your audience. Like, if it's somebody <laughs> that's gonna put their defenses up right away, you're not gonna get anywhere in the conversation right, anyway by right. starting it out like aggressively. Yeah, right. exactly. I agree. I, and I think a can and a may is more welcoming. It's a little mm -hmm. softer in how you say it. May I be honest? Or can I just be honest? <laughs> yes. For I think it's a softer introduction. But I have, I have to be honest. In yeah. some <laughs> situations, I don't even think saying this is, you know, again, it's knowing your audience because somebody, if they didn't ask for your advice, mm -hmm. exactly, don't, don't give. It. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think this is even tricky, even when you say it in that's a sweet true. way. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Because sometimes also it's, it's like, oh, are you not honest all the time? When you do that, right. Right. people are like, okay, right. we're well, asking yes. now, but are you not honest? What all are the you time? doing the other time? Right. 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 Yes. Yeah. You said lying. What's yeah. right. that's a good point. It's kind yeah. of, mm. Okay, this one, I've done it before. I'm sorry, but. Oof. Yeah, you erased everything. Yes, yeah. by immediately qualifying your apology, you diminish mm -hmm. the sincerity behind it. Totally mm -hmm. negates mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. The but, you know. Mm -hmm. You look nice, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. Right. Yes. Or gotta... I'm sorry, you feel that way. It's like blaming the other person yeah. for like right. yeah. what they. I don't know. The it's way just, they're yeah, there's one yeah. similar to that in in here Strange. too, Kara. Going down the list, mm -hmm. but the I'm sorry, but. It really, I mean, either you're sorry. Yes. Mm -hmm. Don't <laughs> try and qualify it. Right. Exactly. Gun, exactly. Anything. Right. You're sorry and explain why you're sorry and why mm -hmm. you didn't act uh, the right way or you, you know, hurt their feelings. Right. But. I've learned, I'm learning to take that word out of my vocabulary a little bit. Yeah. In general. But, yeah. Just, I mean, you know, for the most part, when it comes to a serious topic, just take but out of it completely. Because if you're yes. just right to it, it actually is more sincere. It yeah. feels yes. real. You know, you're not carrying on that there's something else and I don't really mean it. Yeah, right. I'm with you on that. Yeah, you what know? if you say like, I'm sorry, but, and then kind of blame yourself. Like, I'm sorry, but I was having like the worst day. Is that okay or no? Um, I think that's a little different. Yeah. Okay. Yes, I, I think, think that's, that's a little different because now you're kind of owning up to whatever right. happened or why it happened mm -hmm. or the circumstances around it. So I think that's different. Like you're yes. taking responsibility. Exactly. For it. Right. Okay. Yeah. right. Yeah. Like you, yeah. you really are explaining <laughs> why it yeah. happened. Mm -hmm. and yeah, I have where to do that sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, but I was just not in a good place. <laughs> yeah. Listen, yeah. So I know I was crazy, right. girl, but yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 love me. Yes. Love me anyway, please. Okay. This. This one, uh, there's no reason for you to be upset. Mm -hmm. So uh, the doctor says you should avoid uh, stating their feelings for them. Instead, ask them what you're feeling. Don't Absolutely. tell them how you're feeling. Absolutely. Or how they mm -hmm. should be feeling. Right. No, no, no. You don't say, well, there's no reason you shouldn't be thinking that way because, yes, you're telling me how I should think mm -hmm. and how I should feel about the situation. Yeah. You're not even right. hearing out why. You're yeah. going into straight of you think I shouldn't even think that way. Yeah. No. Listen, and therapy is real for me because I do that on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. And you know, my feelings are real. 
you know, and, I'm, and my feelings are valid for me to express them. And so when you tell me you shouldn't, hold up, wait a minute, mm -hmm. back it up. Yes. Right. You know, I have a reason of why I'm feeling this way or what has happened to me, and I right. and I should honor that in this moment. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now I do tell my kids that a lot. Like, What's there's that? no reason to be upset. <laughs> yeah, right. Look, look at your life. That's <laughs> look, right. look around <laughs> at your <laughs> life. Yes. This is good for you. <laughs> <laughs> right. 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 At your life. Yes. What are gonna, you mad about? This is going to help you grow. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Now I will say, Sherry Flake, who comes on on this Real Talk, um, who I may or may not have seen a few times. She's a very good therapist. Mm -hmm. She's like such great strategies, and um, I can get defensive if somebody's saying, you know. Uh, if Jim says, you know, it really bothered me when your brother did this yeah. when mm -hmm. we were all together. Immediately, because it's just who I am, I would defend you. I would. De well, she didn't mean it that. Sherry's like, no, 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 no. You are absolutely telling him you shouldn't be upset. Mm. You have to just affirm his feelings and mm -hmm. say, I'm so, I'm so sorry he did that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And hear that. Even out. if you're like, you're way overreacting. Right. Don't you dare say that. For yeah. sure. He that needs way. to know that you understand. Understand. Absolutely. Right. My sister and I, we used to butt heads so bad. Like we would argue about things that, because we didn't understand each other's perspective on it. Right. And I would, and I would tell her, I'm like, what is wrong with you? Like, That's are you what serious? I That's what yeah. I are you crazy? <laughs> and she, and so, but it took me time to finally see. Okay, our personalities are different. What may upset her? Or may, what me? What she? may see as wrong, I may not think it is. Right. So let me just chill and hear her out and get past it and we've gotten way better right. with just mm -hmm. like understanding. But good for you. Yeah. Yes. But it took time. It took time. I'm not going to That's a beautiful thing about growth, right? That's a beautiful thing of growth and understanding yourself mm -hmm. and allowing yourself the opportunity to grow. Because yeah. some right. of us get stuck, child. We get yes. real stuck. <laughs> yes. Okay? And we won't let some stuff go. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. It happens. Yeah. It happens. <laughs> but I love that. And yeah. that's, that's inspiring to me because, again, you got to take a step back yeah. from your the way you always do things yeah. and, and try to see it from their perspective Absolutely. and, and mm -hmm. grow. Mm -hmm. All right, the next one. Nobody likes this. You need to <laughs> calm down. See? You need to calm down. That's fighting yeah. words. That's the doctor one. says these are fighting words. That's one when I say that when we would be bickering at each other. If I said that to her, it would take it, her to the next, next level. level. <laughs> she, like that was the worst thing to say, right? right. So yeah, you I, can't. I don't know, child. And I'm black, so I don't know. Sometimes we gotta tell each other to calm. You need to you need to chill. Uh, right. Okay. And so, how, but how does that yeah. go over? It's probably some fighter words. Yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah, right. But I didn't recognize it as being fighter words then right. when I was saying it. But yeah, I think sometimes we do get, you know, in these conversations and you like, hold up, you need to hit your chill a little bit. It's not that deep. Calm down. Right. Oh, you can know? you? Maybe we go back to the first thing. Can we say instead, can you calm can, down? Can you? Uh, may you uh, can calm you calm down? Oh, may you? Really like <laughs> you may, you may you calm down? May you calm down? It does seem so mature. <laughs> it does seem so mature. I'm not there yet. I'm not either. <laughs> but I kind of wanted to put my head on your shoulder when you said that. It was so loving. And I'm, I'm, but you guys know, I'm very sensitive and very, like, I'm ve I'm fragile. You like to oh, say. wow. And so if you're getting if you're getting a little heaty on me, I might have to say, can, can you calm down? Please. Can you calm down? Can you calm down? What do you I don't want to raise funny. my voice. I'm very laid back, so I don't really get that. Now, I was thinking, I think it's just in general when people tell you what to do, you don't like it. Exactly. You know, yeah. like, exactly. I have been told maybe you shouldn't drink so much. <laughs> Hit your chill <laughs> on the wine. <laughs> yeah. Right. Or like, and, should, and that to me, I'm like, it tells me what to do. You should go right down. Up. That'll get <laughs> you straight up. Yeah. As you're having a sip of wine. <laughs> what are you talking about? Like, what do you yeah. mean? Yes, exactly. It's great. Okay, we've got three more. I want to get them through them real quick okay. when now this you it, it's when one door closes another one opens okay so this life coach Elisa Robin who's a PhD tells Bustle that well it isn't a bad thing to say say it well down the road perhaps not mm. when they are in the moment of something really not great happening to them mm. what do you think about that Hmm. When one door open closes, yeah. I don't know. I, I know your audience, I guess, too, yes. a little bit. Like my, when my mother get serious, but when my mother had cancer, she would hate it when people would say to her, "Well, you know, God only gives you so much you can handle," oh, or oh, something like I that. Like and, that. Yeah. and my mother is a very spiritual, religious person, but I think that just irked her because she's like, "What about all the other people that have lost their life?" Yeah. You know, or, or like, or, did God not love them? You know, right. God loves everyone. I don't know. And so I think it's just like people take things differently, and you have to kind yeah. of interpret the situation and then like tread 
lightly. Yeah, so if somebody mm. really loves to be motivated that way, then maybe that'll be okay. Right. But or it can come out very disingenuous and almost try right. like oh, God's can open another door. Yeah. yeah. I gotta run, but call me. When <laughs> no. Call me when you get that other job. Right. No. Right. right. Keep me posted. That's Keep a me mess. Posted. Really. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I think it's about how you say it, but go ahead. No, no, no. Uh, weigh in on this. I am who I am. I just am who I am. Mm. Oh, you know, I do. I, I don't like when people say mm. that because mm. it just says this is the excuse for why mm. I can have bad behavior. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. This is my mm. excuse for how I show up poorly in rooms or in conversations. <laughs> right. And it's unacceptable. I think you have to know, especially when you're on your, this path of growth, that um, some stuff is just not it's not acceptable mm -hmm. and you have to own it and not saying, well, this is just the way I am. No, you have to make some necessary changes. For, right. I think for, right. Sorry. No, I, think go ahead. It, I think it depends when you say it too though because if you're saying it in a situation where again it's like you know you know me and this is how I you know this is who I am I'm very sensitive I am that way I don't know that it will ever change I've mm -hmm. been that way. I'm, I'm emotional right. so I think it's when I think if you're saying it like nope I cuss and I'm gonna be that rude to you that is who I am yeah. that's who I am and well, I'm love, how you love spin it. forces right. you to you know? change yeah. love when you love people and you want to show up as a better person in a relationship mm -hmm. it forces you to that's change true. it forces that's you true. to step true. up it does. You I know I you want to be better yeah we all do we all do weigh in on our Facebook page. We would love to hear from you. Facebook at ATL and Co. We'd love to hear, you know, if sometimes you say the wrong thing and then what do you do about it? Yeah. I'm always, I'm like a little sponge. Tell us. <laughs>